This problem is a two-part uh, question, so we'll come back and answer this second question here at the end. But we have C5H10O, and we need to draw aldehydes. So let's sketch something out. I'd never calculate the index of hydrogen deficiency or the unsaturation. I just sketch something and see if it matches the formula. So we've got five carbons, one oxygen, and let's just count the hydrogens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's great. I have five carbons. I have just a straight chain of a branch. No rings, no rings, okay? And we have an aldehyde. So the name of this would be uh, pentanal. Recall again that an aldehyde is always, always considered to be at the carbon number one, and so we don't need a number for the aldehyde. Only methyl groups or ethyl groups or something like that. So this molecule has five carbons in the longest chain, and we start um, working off of that premise. So let's try to draw four carbons in the longest chain. So one, two, three, four, and then I need a fifth carbon, and I can make it a branch. I can branch here. Or I can branch here. Why did I draw it twice? Okay, so one, two, three, four carbons in the longest chain, and I could have the methyl group coming off here or the methyl group coming off there. So let's name these. So again, remember that the aldehyde is always positioned at carbon one. So this would be called three methyl, and it becomes butanal, all right? Butane means uh, four carbons, and we don't need a number for the aldehyde. And this would be called uh, two methyl butanal. Okay. Uh, so that's five carbons, four carbons, and then three carbons would be in the longest chain, starting with this template. Now we do not, I repeat, we do not want to add carbons to this end carbon because that's going to extend the parent chain. We want to add carbons elsewhere, and there's only one place I could add two more carbons. Why do we need two? Because three plus two is five, right? And we need to have five carbons in this molecule. So that's it. Here's a methyl group. Here's a methyl group. Okay. There's, a, there's also a methyl group on this dotted carbon at the end, but I'm not gonna emphasize that. So let's number the chain here. So there's one, two, three, uh, and we have two methyl groups at uh, carbon two. So the name of this would be two, two, dimethyl, Um, propanal. Propane, remember, is three carbons. And al is short for Albert or aldehyde in this case. So, one, two, three, four molecules. Now, the second question says which one possess a chirality center? Not this one, not this one. Remember, a chirality center, not this one either, actually. The only one is this molecule here. Carbon two has four groups attached to it. It's got an aldehyde, got a hydrogen attached to it, it's got a methyl group attached to it, and it's got an ethyl group, okay? In order for a molecule to possess a chirality center, it needs to have four different groups attached to it. Why not carbon three up here? It has hydrogen, it has a methyl and it has another methyl, okay? These two methyl groups are ident they're the same, so it's not four different groups. Why not carbon two right here? Because we have three methyl groups, okay? So the only molecule that um, possesses a chirality center is this one here, okay? 